Okay. You're listening to The Lot Radio. My name is Yale Evelev. Thank you very much, Guillaume, for the show. Uh, this is an hour of music brought to you by a record label called Loakabop. And today we're going to listen to music on the Kurtum label. Uh, Kurtum was Curtis Mayfield's label, and I thought a kind of funny parallel to Loakabop, which was a label started by musician David Byrne. So Kurtum lasted for about 10 or 12 years, and it did a numerous amount of records. Uh, some of them did well, some of them didn't, of course. That's, that makes sense, right? And uh, I thought we'd start with Leroy Hudson, who was a singer in uh, the band that Curtis started called The Impressions. And then he went on to do a bunch of records for, for Kurtum. <laughs> Down on her knees and pray, Lord, have mercy right now. 
just be proud Don't raise your voice too loud And never mind how people talk
Listening to an hour of music on the Curtum label, that's Curtis Mayfield's record label. Uh, this is an hour of music presented by David Burns' record label, or you know, co-owned by me and him, uh, called Luwakabop. And 
the f first set was all was really two groups: uh, Leroy Hudson, uh, who was a singer in the Impressions, and uh, and the Five Stair Steps, which was kind of one of the first uh, family pop bands before the Jackson Five, but a similar kind of situation to the Jackson Five in some ways. And now we're going to hear Billy Butler. <laughs> Said it was all of 17 When she first hit the streets Hey mister, uh, you want a date? But before she was grown, she was queen You can ask any trick on her beat Whatever you wanted, she could give. Making love was her life, and she did. She tell you just like it is. You did fast for a square, but put your money right there. I'm talking about Sadie. Now say they wore fashionable clothes Hey girl, check out my man And she rode around in the library car There was not anybody she did not know And she hung out with superstars She always had an open mind You could get her with a dime If you had the money, she had the time She'd say, come on in square But put your money, put it there I'm talking about Sadie Lonzo looking for her. Well, say, Liz, right at the top of the stairs, first on the left. Well, if she ain't here, baby, I'll be back for you. All right, baby. A stranger came into town one night. And him and Sadie had a horrible fight. Nigga, get your hands off me. I heard a scream, a shot rang out. What it was all about Ran down the hall And kicked in the door I saw Sadie Laid on the floor And my teeth and my tongue Began to fight I was speechless From the horrible sight My eyes were blurred My throat got dry I said it Lay down on me And died I'm talking about Sadie
talking about Sadie. Mm. There was a street walking lady, hey, y'all. Sweet Sadie B. There was a street walking lady, y'all.
Staple Singers, produced by Curtis Mayfield. I mean, can't ask for something better than that. We're listening to an hour of music on the Kurt Tum label. Kurt Tum label is Curtis Mayfield's label that he <clears throat> had owned with a partner, Eddie Thomas, hence the Kerr and Tom name. And it didn't exist for that long. And a lot of the records that they put out were produced or in some way kind of mirrored the... Curtis Mayfield's own kind of artistic a output in terms of the way they sounded or who they were produced by or how they were related to the label. So that happens with a lot of artist labels where the artist has a label and basically records people in their world uh, and, uh, and then it doesn't, you know, they lose interest or business changes or they didn't get hits or whatever it is, a situation happens and, they, and then, then they fade away. Um, we're going to go back to Leroy Hudson for a minute, and then we're going to go back to the Staple Singers and continue on.
thought I should point out that that was in the ghetto. Leor Hudson co-wrote with Donny Hathaway. Pretty incredible track.
on track.
My name is Yale Evelev. You're listening to The Lot Radio. It's an hour of music presented by a record label called Luwakabop. And today it's about a record label called Kurtom. Um, that was Baby Huey, the legendary Baby Huey from the record, of course, the story of Baby Huey. For some reason, though, he's a vocalist, half the record's instrumental. Um, one more track from the stair steps, and then I'll tell you what's next after that. Another fella has gone and left you I see you've come back to me, your best friend To tell another tragic story again And once more you'll look in my eyes And one more time you won't be alive Go back, never again, my dear. I'm gonna stop all the blueness in you. Also confess what my heart wants me to. I, I, I'm the one I love you, love you. I, I'm the one I love you, love you. Love me. I'm the one, I'm the one. Why don't you love me? I'm the one, I'm the one. Yeah, you've been listening to an hour of record, a uh, hour of music on the Kurtum label. And we're going to finish off with a track that's not on the Kurtum label. It's, on, of course, on the Wakabop label. And it's uh, a group we, on the label called Kings Go Forth. We did one record with. The singer, uh, Black Wolf, was on Kurtum, though no record actually came out. Um, but they did, I think, do some of the recordings. And then for some reason, the record never came out. But it's a track produced by. Tom Moulton, who invented the 12 inch disco single. <laughs> Thank you. 